Hello Shavers, uh, this is not going to be my usual Shave of the Day, SOTD, none of that. What happened now is I have been tagged by my buddy, Chad Chet, also known as Shaving on the Dark Side. Um, he's becoming a real good buddy of mine over YouTube and, uh, you know, hopefully we get some collaborations going on, but he had tagged me in. My most neglected shave gear. Um, I'm also going to actually put this in as um, my first proper wet shave gear. Um, you'll see why. So, on that note, I'm going to start since I'm a straight razor shaver. Excuse me, guys. I'm a smoker and I'm smoking. I'm not shaving. Um... I'm a straight razor guy, so I don't have any DEs. I can't turn around and say, you know, I've got uh, these blades I neglect, this blade, uh, the shaver. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't have that. So what I'm going to start with is my first drop. Now, I got this in a um, combo pack, so to speak, because, you know, I knew I wanted to straight razor shave, but I didn't know... I wanted to get everything all in one, so I wanted salt, the razor, strop, you know what I mean? So I got this. I don't even know if it works. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's cloth. I don't know, crap. I have a really nice strop now, so it's crap to me. Um, I keep it just to keep it. Just... To make it look like I've got more strides. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it, I don't know. Kind of like a hoarding issue. I don't hoard though. Um, so going into that, I uh, I really love this soap. I do, and I love this scent. And I think if you don't have it, you should get it. You'll probably end up getting the aftershave, the pre-shave, the cologne. It's a great scent. Uh, recently did a shave with it. But I do neglect it. I do neglect it. And that is my smolder. This also came with my first proper straight razor pack. Excellent stuff. Residual slickness is out of control. It is just, it's good stuff. It is good stuff. Somebody, I believe, said this is the artisan she makes. Um, since for Maggot Razors, God. I like that. I would buy the cologne, but it's $50, and I just can't see myself doing that. Um, continuing with my first proper, which I've neglected every single thing I've gotten from my first proper um, wet shave kit, is my Dovo. Round point, best quality, full hollow. Plastic scales, it's it's really about the steel, anyway. Um, I neglected it for a while just because I didn't believe the blade was sharp enough. Or, you know, it was just irritating the hell out of me. So I got my Boker. That superseded my Dovo. And then I got my Hankles, and I was just rotating with those back and forth. And just... Neglected. Neglected. So, on that note, I went out and I got another kit. Not a, not a whole, you know, kit, but it is the Vanderhagen. My girlfriend dragged me to Target, right? So I said, okay, let me go into the shaving. Now, this is when I had first, really just first, I think uh, November, I just started straight razor shaving and this. So I figured, okay, let me try a synthetic, you know what I mean? I don't even use this. I won't even use it. It is, in my eyes, crap. Crap. Like, every single hair just comes out, flies out. It is just poorly, poorly, poorly made crap in my eyes. Some people may hate me for this, you know what I mean? Especially the, uh, 
the synthetic users. Crap. Crap. I don't even know why I have it. I think it just fills up my display case. Don't like it. Won't use it. I shouldn't have to spend half my time picking off, you know, oh, there's a hair. Oh, there's another hair. There's another, you know, fuck that. So, sticking with that whole kit that I had bought. This is my uh, apothecary cup mug. Um, I have nothing against this. It's a great looking mug. Um, I actually keep my Taylor Volt bonds. Um, in there, but I'm a face latherer. Uh, that's just that's just how I get down. <coughs> uh, once in a while, yes, if I have a, a sample, say like uh, PAA's gondolier, you could say this is neglected. I haven't even used it yet. Um, <laughs> shit, I got a couple in there. That's this this over here I'm looking at is my uh, sample case this awesome God, really good stuff if you don't have it it's a cologne for sure it's cool water Davidoff cool water I had that wow that's a classic scent <laughs> even to me I'm 30 years old and it's a classic scent I was wearing that in middle school trying to get the ladies all excited um so that that let me show you this. This all came with my um, original pack. And that's dropped. Neglected. Neglected. Also, my satin tip. This came with um, the strop, the uh, Dovo and all that. Now this, I do like this brush. I do like this brush. I just neglect it because I am a badger guy. I've got my, you know, I've got my artist shaving Lexington badger. I've got my Savile Row. I mean, I got nothing against, you know, synthetics. It's just I don't have many of them. I'm not, I'm not wanting to buying cheap stuff just because it's cheap. You know what I mean? If uh, I figured. I'm a practical guy, all right? If I'm going to spend $180 on a brush, it's because I'm going to use it. Um, it's it's not an economical choice to me. It's just, you know, damn, I want it. I'm going to use it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so I've been trying to use this in a couple of my last recent uh, Shea videos. And then... Um, Back to the Vanderhagen. I know I'm jumping around. It's like it's 7 o'clock in the morning over here. I just woke up and I wanted to get this done for my buddy. He tagged me and I don't want him waiting too long. So, cigarette went out. Vanderhagen came with the pack. It came in a box. Never used it. Never touched my face with it. I like the scent. I do like the scent. It's nice, clean. Clean. It's clean. But, once again, I just, uh... I'm in no rush to try it. I mean, my hair, my facial hair will grow so much. I've got a whole cache of, uh... Samples and, uh, you know, actually in my, I got big tubs, you know, all that. And uh, it's just, uh, you know, I just, I got no desire. No desire. You know what it is? I feel the brush jaded me in my whole Vanderhagen uh, experience. And I really give a shit about this. So, so it sits in the back seat. Boom. And, uh, folks, I think that's about it. Uh, you know, I've, I've also neglected, I got, you know, samples, Shannon's, lavender, lemongrass, the captain, I've never even tried that, the time traveler, never even tried that, and that was from the New York City Shave Meetup. Not all of mine are from the Shave Meetup, but quite a few. And, uh, I mean, that's about it. Uh, I just recently started 
this hobby in uh, November. So I was focusing on straight razors. That's a, you know, that's a big, it's a big nut. You know what I mean? They range, you buy brand new, they range anywhere from 120 with the Dovo. And, uh, you know, my bulker is 240. Hankles is a vintage. That's at least 180 because it is in pristine condition. It is a great looking razor. Um, so that's about it. Um, so on that note, I want to, uh, I want to tag quite, I want to tag a few people. I want to tag, um, so sharp David, like to see what he's neglecting. Um, Jam and GI. And then I want to go after some big dogs. I want to go after the stallion. And I want to see what the TSC, Mr. Chris Bailey, has been neglecting because that man, every day, it's got something new, something going on. So I would like to see what he's got. And I know the stallion has got this incredible den. But I want to see what he's neglecting. Cuz. So on that note, folks, everybody have a great day. Please comment, share, subscribe, tag, whatever you got to do. And I'll see you on the next episode.